So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fat Bod, and what a great way to end off the absolutely horrible year that has been 2020 with a game that I absolutely freaking love that is of course called Man Eater. If someone turned around and asked me what my personal favourite game of 2020 is, of course out of the ones that I played, I would lean the most towards Man Eater. I wouldn't definitely say Man Eater, but I think it's very close between Man Eater and Spider-Man. Obviously, Spider-Man has much more of a bigger audience than Man Eater, but this game was just insane. I remember seeing this first and like you can play as a shark, which is cool alone. I mean, they have Jaws games on the PS2 and like the freaking Wii. They're absolute garbage. They are absolutely freaking horrible games. And then this game came out and it's insane. Possibly the best shark game that will ever be released. Man Eater 2 is coming, which is freaking amazing. And I would definitely be playing the crap out of this. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Episode number 13 to finally end off the series. So we're not going to continue. I'm actually going to play and go on this save because... For some reason, I don't remember playing the game again, but I loaded up the game. No, let's not freaking do that. I loaded up the game again for some reason, but here we go. I was debating whether to just go onto my level 30 profile, but then I thought that will be a bit of a boring episode. I have 100% of the game. There's nothing I can do rather than just go around and eat fish and just have a look in the environment. So let's start a brand new game. Let's skip all the cutscenes and just have fun as a little freaking shark. This is an adult And bullshit. here is our shark. Fast, Obviously, we fierce, don't start off as a small shark. The teeth. She we has start off as our mum. The and then, spoiler alert, by the way, if you haven't seen the story, unfortunately, our mum gets killed by, like, Stinky or Skinny Pete. Keep current sense. Thank you very much. And, the yeah, she basically gets killed and cut open, and then we come out. World. God, this game is amazing. I might play this again on the PC. So obviously, as you can see by it saying press or hold R2, I am of course playing this on Xbox. No, I'm actually playing this on the PS4 still because that's where I got the game originally and I haven't bought it again on PC because that would be a bit of a waste of money as I already have the game on something else. So I don't really need to eat anything right now, but I guess I will. Sea turtles live all obviously, we start off as the this mum and we don't actually upgrade until are put on full we get our own display. shark. We can destroy all of this stuff. We can do pretty much everything that we can do as... I think this is an adult. So, obviously, we get to a mega, which is the level 30 area. God, th this game looks amazing, doesn't it? This game still looks amazing, and it came out in freaking May. Jesus Christ. This game is like, what? June, July, August, September, October. That's like freaking... I've miscounted. Like, seven or eight months old already? Jesus Christ, mate. You can leave the knife in position by submerging. There we go. Press an old R2 to bite. Hell yes. Grouper, mate. Thank you very much. And Coral Grouper. God, th this is giving me horrible flashbacks to how long that freaking ending took me. Jesus Christ. I remember how serious I was and how freaking devastated I was at the ending. This game made me very angry. But it still has to be. I mean, this has to be my game of the year. This game is freaking insane. A tail whip your prey. I remember this taking quite a long time before. I've already forgotten the buttons. Jesus Christ, it's episode 13, and I've forgotten the freaking buttons. Brilliant. A tail wipe is L1. Can I do this to this level 1 grouper? No, never mind. There we go. Do it twice to you, mate. Um, never mind, you've disappeared. Well, let's get, let's get a bigger prey, shall we? There's a turtle down here. Level 3 turtle. Not too big, we can hear him multiple times. And I've lost him, so I guess we'll go over this parrotfish instead. Hello, buddy. And goodbye, buddy. You're too fast for me, apparently. A freaking great white shark can't keep up with a freaking parrotfish. I am the worst shark to ever live, and that is the name of this episode. More common to a thresher shark. This bull makes creative use Knifing. of a powerful tail. Hell yes. That's like this, right? When you're uh, when you're thin, like goes like that. There we go. That the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. No freaking mess of sharks. You're here, mate. I am allowed. If you the see a shark on the freaking surface, fair enough, kill it. If the shark sees a human in the water, fair enough, they're allowed to kill it. I have no problem with that. Oh, jump on knifing, here we go. Like that, and then boom. And nearly boom. Part it. It's just weird being this freaking small. I remember being massive and being able to just jump. I could pretty much jump that. Literally, I could just about jump this freaking ship in uh, my other game that was 100%ed. The speed is astounding for a large well, that took ages present. as well, the freaking 100%. That took years. It feels like I've just freaking finished playing the game now. 
You get a burst of speed by lunging. Okay, there we go. I kind of want this to be done. I kind of want to be my small shark. Because this is good and all, but obviously this isn't the shark that we're going to be leveling up. So lunge uh, up towards the surface to breach out water. Like that. Oh no, I know what I need to do. Like this. And then... Like that. There we go. A breaching shark is a rare and Let's do that twice more. Spectacle. Two and... Three. Perfect. I really like doing this. I don't remember the first person that did it, but like a nostalgia week type thing where you go and play games you played already, like in the week. Obviously, I did Detroit Become Human yesterday, and I decided to do Man Eater today because obviously... As I said, it's my personal game of the year. So why not? It's a freaking insane game. I probably would have done Spider-Man instead, but obviously we only just finished playing that like last month, I think. I hold R2 on an object and press L1 to whip shot. This is the one that took me about a freaking 10 minutes to do because I had no idea what I was doing. Do you have to like hold something in your mouth? I guess we'll do it to the seal. Or seal one has returned. And then L1. There we go. And we can do it to this guy, I think, three times. Or maybe the third time. Oh no, the second time I'll just freaking eat him. Fair enough, mate. I think if they're too small, I just eat them and I can't do anything with them. There we go. This toll, okay, they would have had enough health, but now they freaking don't. Let's get this uh, grouper instead. And there we go. So I could hold it as well. Jeez, I'm, I'm doing it to like freaking level 3 turtles and level 6 groupers just about. I remember before doing it to freaking great white sharks. Just with ease. A terror of the bay, kill the beachgoers. Okay, oh god, these menus... Jesus Christ, freaking nostalgia, even though I played this game this year. Can you have nostalgia for something that you've done like seven or eight months ago? I have nostalgia like playing Simpsons Hit and Run and Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom when I played the Rehydrated Edition. But then again, I did play like a freaking decade before that one. So I obviously have nostalgia for that. But this game, can I really have nostalgia yet? Am I allowed to have nostalgia for a game that I played this year? Detroit I played this year as well, which is why I did both of them because they're both games I played this year. And obviously this channel was made last uh, April, so like April 9th, 2019, I believe, was the first video that came out on this channel. I keep pressing that thinking it's something else. That's the problem when you play other games at the same time. You think that all the freaking controls are the same. And why am I failing to freaking eat a human? I remember how insanely good I was at this game in the last episode, now I'm freaking awful. I say the last episode, it was freaking eight months ago. propensity to feed on fear. Right, so I remember before, it's only the humans have, like, that freaking green arrow and the, uh, like, the blue and white exclamation mark over them. So I remember before killing a bunch of humans, but obviously the more humans you kill, then all, like, the freaking army people come out and try and kill you. So I've got to be careful, or late game anyway, I had to be careful with, uh, actually only killing the white humans. And I can destroy these. I forgot about that. There's nine, nearly? A lot of blood in the water as well. It that looks insane as well. By the way, all the freaking blood goes on the water like that. It was awesome. I remember some Narka freaking completely blowing us away with how like freaking water knows. physics could be we'll done. Him, and this game looks insane as well. Hello, how are we freaking doing? I'm pressing square for some reason to freaking attack. That is not the right button. I just realized as well why I like, get attacked. I still have never seen what actually happens when you die. And I guess that's the way I'm going to end the episode. Because I believe that's the only thing in the entire game I haven't yet seen. And it's weird because usually I die like freaking 800 times an episode in a game that I can die because I'm horrible at games. But in this game, I have never died. And I'm getting quite close to dying now, so I'm going to leave. At this point, yes, the shark definitely is freaking hurt. Some... There we freaking go. Going on the bow is so good. I'm just going on the bow and just destroying every human that's there. Hello, buddy. How are we doing? You're not part of it, but I just freaking hate... Oh, no, you are a hunter. Fair enough. Oh, there's three boats. I thought that was it. Okay, never mind. Still got another two to get. Hello, buddies. How are we doing? So I still have no idea how to actually dodge the attacks. I'm still extremely bad at that. Despite having 100% of the game, I still don't really know what I'm meant to do to actually dodge them properly. Right, there we go. As I said, just going on the boat and destroying all of them is very freaking effective. There we go. That's blue now. I don't remember it flashing blue. So obviously this game's had about four, maybe five updates since I last played it. I'm not sure what was added. Obviously... Nothing new's been added. Otherwise, I would have definitely done a part 13 sooner because this game is insane. Any game I've done over 10 videos for, I very much so enjoy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done over 10 videos for, funnily enough. Hello, buddies. Unless they get a lot of views, obviously, because I like views at the end of the day. 
Thank you very much, mate. So this is the last boat, I believe, yeah. As soon as I do this, that should be the end of this shark's life, sadly. But then we get the shark that we can upgrade, which is freaking awesome. Last guy. There we go. So this is like Stinky P, I believe is his name. I think he's coming now, right? Here we go. Is this Stinky P or like Smelly P or something like that? Or Scaly P? Never mind. Oh no, wait. Stinky P is from like freaking Toy Story, isn't it? But that guy that was always in the box, I think. And here's our shark. The shark that is actually now Boss Sharkwood. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Boss Sharkwood Mark 2, or I guess Mark 3, because I had that other game that had to freaking overwrite for some reason. Flesh, or for some reason, it was there. Natural prey in a deadly Here we go. Search for the most dangerous game. I am so freaking tiny compared to what you get to in a like level freaking 30, I think, is the maximum. Oh my, I am so small. Jeez, I, I just remember how big I am. And then, like, go back and watch the last episode and see how massive I am. Compared to now, this catfish will probably freaking kill me. Never mind. Oh god, that tiny little catfish. And I have all of this to eat. I guess that's the same in every game that you can just get bigger. Where do I go for this? Is this going to be like one of the greats, potentially? It's, oh no, never mind. It's just back and then to the right. Fair enough. Will we have a cashier as well? Hell yes. Awesome. One out of 17. God, that took me so long. I remember how many hours it took me to freaking do that. Oh, Jesus, I am- um, I don't have enough oxygen for this. I'm kind of treating this shark like it's freaking level 30, which is not a good thing to do. Let's I'll play the game normal for now. To be honest, this game is so good, I wouldn't be surprised if I just end up playing through the entire game again, and 100 percent it again. Because this is definitely a game that I could see does 100 percenting all of the freaking four slots. Right, so this is here, I believe- is there just going to be a great potentially here? Oh, here we go, yeah. This is just one of the grottos, I believe, is the name. The Evolution the grotto Advanced Sonar. I didn't know I had a basic sonar, to be control. honest. Oh, New Evolution Tiger Body. That's actually something new. So it wasn't new when I played it. It's just I didn't realise it was in the game. So, yeah. We can have this. Look at this. Nutrients. Hell yes. Evolutions. Awesome. This is something that you guys have never seen on the Boss Fat World Variety channel. Because this is a bonus thing that you can unlock if you pre-ordered the game. But for some reason on PS4, it wasn't there when I was playing it. And then about a week after I played it, they apologized and they put it in the game. But then obviously the series had already finished. So I would have liked to look like this during the playthrough, but it wasn't in the game. So I apologize. But now for this last episode, I guess I can look like this. Hell yes. Tiger body. So I'm a tiger shark now, technically. This shark is able to use bio sonar. Release a tiger shark wannabe. Alright, where are we going now? I think I have to actually say, right? We got catfish fever there. Kill 10 catfish and destroy the target. We'll do this one first, because these are usually easier to do. It usually means that wherever that 10 thing is, is smaller. But then when it says one target, it usually means that that target is very hard to kill at your current level. So let's kill all these catfish, shall we? Wildlife combat and thrash. Great. Focus threat. I literally, the only thing I used to do is just bite people. Oh god, the alligators or the crocodile. The alligators, there we go. They are terrifying now because they would freaking kill me. They will very much so kill me very easily. Not really in the mood, mate, to be honest. Oh, the sonar. I never use the sonar. I got rid of the sonar so freaking early. Or if I didn't get rid of it early, I never used it, even though I had it. Well, this alligator is just following me. Hello, buddy. You're level 8 and I'm level 1. I'm a pup still. You wouldn't attack- actually, you would definitely attack a freaking dog. You would definitely attack a puppy that has just been born. And what a lovely thought that is. Something I didn't realise as well is it's my birthday today, so feel free to wish me happy birthday. I'm 19 today. Or 19 tomorrow, because today is the 30th. I usually tend to not record a video the same day as going out, because that would be a very dumb thing to do. That's number 8. Let's go all the way over here, so then potentially the alligator doesn't see me anymore. Never mind, I've got two alligators now. The more the freaking merrier with the things that can attack me very easily and very much so kill me easily as well. I actually cannot wait to see what actually happens if you die. Because I genuinely have never seen what happens when you die and I'm very much so curious. Obviously it's probably just going to be you die and then a loading screen but like what normally happens when a shark dies is they just turn around and lie on their back. Because if you didn't know that, if a shark turns around they die because... I think it's something to do with, like, their blood go into their head or something like that. Or their blood flipping down in their organs falling out or something like that. Which, once again, is a lovely thought. But that just immediately kills a shark. That's why with all of these killer whales, they can kill sharks easily because they just turn the shark around and it dies. I guess I'll get one of these as well. These are, like, the licensed nameplate type things. 
Well, let's see if I can get it, actually. I'm just assuming I can, because once again, I'm thinking I'm freaking level 30 when I'm not. Can I get this one without dying? Oh, yeah, I need to press a button. Hell yes, level 2 reach. And I've actually gained size, I think. Have I gained size? I thought I only gained size when I evolved. I guess maybe I'll gain a small amount of size when I level up. I never realized that before, either. Okay, we're getting quite close to actually seeing what happens when I die. Let's go ahead and do this, which I'm pretty much here anyway. And then we'll see what happens when I die. So obviously something else I didn't realize until late is that these guys actually tell you. So the turtles give us like that blue crystal. And then the muscalung type things give me the red thing. Where's this guy I need to kill? It's not one of you, right? R3 to focus on a hostile. Oh, he's over here still. I thought it was one of them because I could hear a freaking growling. It's coming from a freaking level one muscalong. How dare you, mate? Oh, here we go. Oh, it still is a muscalong, but a level 5 one this time. And I am biting the air right now. Come on, mate, you have nothing on me. What if I can do the thrash thing that I used to be able to do? I think that in my level, I could probably do that with freaking everyone. I remember for the first time seeing them freaking whales, like the sperm whale and the killer whale. That was horrifying. Go back and react to the first time I saw a freaking a killer whale and a sperm whale. I was horrified. Or the first Lakes time I entered, like, the gulf so area. No or the, no, the, yeah, the gulf, like that last part. Is it called the gulf? This part. Yeah, the gulf. That was horrifying. The first time I saw that, and it was completely open water. That is terrifying. Oh, we see the awesome city in the background. I was really hoping when I played it first time, you could, like, go around the city. But then I remembered I am playing as a shark. But then again, in my level now that I was level 30, I could last a decent while. I could probably last about five, six minutes, maybe, on the uh, on the surface or just on the uh, the ground, even. So I probably could be able to go through a decent amount of the town. But the devs probably just didn't think that that was something... That they should add potentially, which is fine. I mean, maybe DLC. Maybe Ground Shark DLC is in play. What have we got around here? Where is this guy? Is he like right here somewhere? It was over there. Was it this guy here? I need to defeat an alligator now, but I don't know what one it is. Over here somewhere? It's not that guy because he doesn't have a exclamation mark on him. So that's there. Let me... Okay, he's over there somewhere. So it's not him. Was over here? Okay, that was weird. Why was the freaking arrow pointing me that way then? Get another cash while I'm here. Why not? Or just avoid it completely. We're getting very close to this alligator now. This will be the first time that I kill an alligator. As Boss Shark 1 Mark 2, is it him? Level 15 hunted alligator. Yeah, I'll do you now, mate. Sure thing. If I die now, then that will end the episode. But let's see. Let's see if I can kill him. And also, if I die, it will be quite cool as well. Because I don't know what happens when I die. I am about to die, though. Don't really want to die right now. I want to give this a good shot. See, never mind. Okay, and there we go, yo, ladies and gentlemen. Where are we going with the rest of the season? And that is what happens when you die in Man Eater. But that, ladies and gentlemen, ends Man Eater Part 13, I guess. And ends yet another year of Boss Fat Ward. This is the sixth year now that I've been doing YouTube. And here is to year number seven. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you want to help yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe for our brand new. And it's been your boy Boss Fat Ward. Thanks for watching. And of course, as always, peace.